One of the biggest things that I have been focused on in the last year has been leadership. In the last year, I've realized how important studying and practicing leadership is, but also having the right skill set, having the knowledge. And that's where Kylie Carr comes in. Kylie Carr is the CEO of the Asbury Group, where she advises executive and executive bound women on their image, their presence, and their brand. So as I started to think about my image, my presence, and my brand, Kylie is the one. She leads these workshops for women to do these things, right? To get ourselves together and on top and today we are going to find out what happens when women go through this process. Why do you think that this is important for black women specifically? Well, I think it's important for us to understand our power to uh, there's so many and there are even studies that show that black women and women of color in general have what we call the an emotional tax at work, mm. especially in environments where, where we are in the minority. So we are experiencing unconscious and sometimes conscious biases, mm -hmm. microaggressions, um, being perceived in a certain way, and really holding the baggage of our cultures, our families, our generational you know, trauma, as well as all the other things that are happening in our world. And that is impacting how we show up and also our health. Yes. So our health and wellness. So it's important to have some of these centering practices. And something I said was um, earlier today is that you can't have presence without being present. So that's first and foremost, we need to get centered within ourselves. And then also, black women, like oftentimes we get feedback that we are not showing up in a good way or we yes. don't have executive yes. presence and we don't know what that means. Like, what does that mean? Well, that's why it's so important to understand that executive presence is really, come, it really comes down to how well do you show up as a leader? When you walk into the room, do they know that you are the leader or that do they think you're in the, the intern? Mm. And showing up in a way that's consistent with the value that you bring to the table. And unfortunately, as black women, as women of color, as women, and even if we were just women, period, like we need to think about these things more because unfortunately people have negative perceptions of women as leaders. Yes. So we need to show up in a way that shows, hey, I work with integrity and excellence, and this is what you get when you experience mm -hmm. me. That's so good. I believe in the power of presence and I know um, as a young woman trying to become an executive in the film industry that presence is key. So I'm here at today's masterclass because I'm interested in learning how to better show up for myself in new spaces and also how to show, show up for others. And I'm here today to gain clarity on my superpower. And I'm here just to hone in my voice and as you all know first impressions matter so I just want to make sure I'm showcasing the best part of me. Power presence. What is this power presence? What is it? How you can discover your personal power, your superpowers, and what makes you different than seven plus billion people in this world. This idea that each of us has something within us that's different than other people. How you're you is what makes you special. And oftentimes we hear, you know, oh, I want to be like Oprah, or I want to be like Bill Gates, or I want to be like Michelle Obama, I want to be like these great leaders. And that's great to have leaders that we want to emulate. But if we're always focusing on people that we're trying to emulate, then we can't be our greatest, most highest version of ourselves. So I'm not saying that we shouldn't try to, you know, get inspiration from leaders who are great, we love and and really admire, but at the same time, you should try to recognize what it is about them that activates something within us, that's something that is ours to own. I talk a lot about your personal power and really developing you from the inside out. And the way that I like to work with people is I help them connect with who they are at their core. Like who, what is yours to do in this world? What unique set of 
gifts do you have? So your strengths, your gifts, and your your uh, skills, right. your experiences that have shaped who you are, the passions that you have, the purpose you have, all of those things combined make you different than everyone else in the world. So there's no one else on this earth today or ever who has had that same combination of strengths, passions, purpose, experiences as you are. So if you can really dig into those things and lead and communicate and show up in the world from a place of that first, yeah. then you set yourself apart. People know that that's you. You're not trying to be like someone else because you are yourself. Mm -hmm. And especially with the experiences, if we can understand that every single experience that we've had in this life is preparing us for what is to come, Every single thing. Everything, every single thing, especially those that feel like our trials, our tribulations, mm -hmm. those hard things that happen in our lives. You know, when my mom passed away, it was the most traumatic thing that I've ever experienced in my life. But I saw the silver lining in that. And I know that I can be a better woman. I can be a better coach. I can be a better leader because of that experience. And because I have her on the other side helping me through. Is what I am externally communicating aligned with the value that I bear? Before people can see the quality of my work and what I have to offer, before I give them the opportunity to see that and to see who I am, am I confirming what they already are? Will my work confirm what they already perceive? Or is there a disconnect between the value? Literally, I've been working on the, this whole idea of how I want to present myself, specifically in the digital area. Um, when it comes to putting out myself as like a producer, a business owner, an entrepreneur, I'm a lot of times, oftentimes looked at as a assistant, as I said earlier. And so I'm just really wanting to express more of my leadership and my confidence. And so we talked about that in the presentation, just about how if there's a balance between being warm and being, you know, competent and reflecting that through confidence. And so that's the area that I feel like I need to start putting myself in more. And so her highlighting ways to be able to do that was really on time. Yeah. The social media thing is definitely it has definitely been an issue for me. Like, I want to be relevant, really, right? Because you need social media to be relevant. You need it to project a present, a presence. But I'm concerned. I'm often concerned about authenticity. You know, and I want to be my authentic self. And I know that my authentic self is what, you know, the world needs. But like, how do how, it's like you have to sell yourself. Right. Like, so right. how do I. And then what's what part of How do yourself? I brand yeah. myself to sell myself and still be authentic? Right. And this really helps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel Thank different now because I was able to step back. And even after taking your workshop, it's like I understand, you know, how I'm coming off to people and how I want to come off and how I can operate from that. So thank you for your for your work. I really want to make sure that, like, more women know about what you're doing. So. Thank, you. thank you. It was my pleasure. My pleasure.